starting with that developing news this morning out of Agawam. This after an explosive device was found last night. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for tuning in here to Western Mass News. I'm Taylor Jacobs. And I'm Allison Maloney. That discovery led to a night of an active investigation and a controlled detonation. Western Mass News reporter Sabrina Riley is live in Agawam with more on what we've learned. Sabrina? Yeah, guys, we're here on Suffolk Street in Agawam, where the scene is now clear, but it's a very different sight from last night when police were actively investigating the situation. Take a look at what it, what it appeared to be at 9 o'clock when we arrived on scene. At first, all we knew was that the police and fire departments were on scene for reports of an explosive device being between Silver and Suffield Streets, which is just down the street from the Agawam shopping plaza. This morning, we have learned that state police also assisted in the investigation with their flyer and explosion units, as well as their bomb squad. The departments decided that the explosive device wasn't stable enough to transport and that they needed to detonate it as soon as possible. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll have more on when and where they de detonated the device, as well as what they did to make sure that the public was fully aware of the situation, considering that the date that this happened was on the anniversary of 9-11. For now, live in Agawam, Sabrina Riley, Western Mass News.